the most versatile player in the game. Is there anything he can do? He is the best player on the planet, period. Kevin Garnett rising to the occasion. I think the day that you start to say that you can't learn or you can't get better, I think it's the day that you start to, you know, tilt your hat to the crowd. This is Kevin Garnett earlier tonight, who exudes so much emotion. He is their best player and he is their soul. All right, we are back. Big C Richie here, a.k.a. Richie, and today is Throwback Thursday. The card we got today is 97 overall, 2005. Kevin Garnett. This card is an absolute monster. I'm going to tell you guys the strengths and weaknesses of this card, where you should play him in your lineup, and obviously see how this card works. I'm really excited to use this card. I know most people get excited when a Kevin Garnett card comes out. He's just one of those popular players who's one of the most ferocious players in the league. He is still in the league, but he's definitely coming to the end of his career, so it's exciting to get one of his newer cards when he was in his prime. Let's go to gameplay. All right, we have found an opponent. Guys, these cards are so hard to get. I can only pray my opponent doesn't quit. You have no idea how long it took me to get this Kevin Garnett. It took me like an hour and a half again. I don't know why it takes so long, but it does. But I'm excited. He has a fairly decent team, so hopefully he doesn't quit. All right, checking out the Kevin Garnett, 97 overall. He's got a 97 mid-range, 69 three-pointer, which if you put a three-point shoe on him, he could probably knock him down. He's got a great free throw at a 90, 98 standing layup, driving, or excuse me, standing dunk at 97, 88 driving dunk, 94 draw foul. This card looks like a beast. Post fadeaway in 92, and look at the rebound stats, 93, 97, box out 98. Great on-ball defense. This card looks like a monster. Let's get going, baby. Alright. Get who that even is. KG. Back him down. Back him down. Post fade. Oh, good. Money. Alright, KG. Good defense. Good rebound. Throw it down. Kyrie. For KG. Running. Boom! KG, let's see, he's got the speed. Oh, it's all alone. Boom, shakalaka. There's no room for soft. There's no room for him, for a person who's going to give, give ground. All right. Kyrie, over to KG, bring it around. Oh, for the mid-range, good shot. Flash. KG, shots. Wow, oh my god, he makes everything. Guys, as far as positioning, you could run KG at the power forward or the center. I would recommend the center just because of his speed. He can do shit like that. And obviously a mismatch against slower guys like Tyson Chandler. Hell yeah, I'm trying to gain an, an advantage out here. All right, KG with the rebound. He's got the fast break. Can we finish? No, post fade, good shot. Wow, he, he makes contested everything. This is great. Feed the big guy. See him. See him running. Oh, he's too fast for Tyson. Get fucked, Tyson. Deep. Wow. He's got range, baby. He's got range. The one thing I love about this card right now is his speed. His speed, easy release. Yeah, I think the release is definitely faster on this KG. That rebound. Oh, my God. KG's got it. He's running. He's running all the way. Contact. Give it buckets. Back to Kyrie. Brings it over. I see KG running all the way. Oh, finish. Boom! You can't help it. Get off the court. Too fast for Tyson. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Too easy. And the speed. This is gate. GG. Kyrie in the middle. Back to KG. Little jumper. Greeny. KG running. Post up. Post up. Post up. Post fade. And the hook. Back to KG. KG with the jumper to finish. Bang! Dang it. Back to KG. Finish him off. The speed. The jumper. The hype mismatch. That's game. GG! Alright, I did take a lot of shots with KG. This card is amazing though. I do love his speed. I do love his jumper. The 97 midi is awesome. 
Again with his speed, 84, 80 with the speed shoe, this thing would be deadly. Guys, I would definitely run this card at center instead of power forward. I'm big on having fast centers that can shoot. Guys, this would be a great center. If you want to run him at a traditional power forward, I mean, obviously that's his position. That's fine too, but I definitely see mismatches running this card at center, especially with his height being at 6'11". He's definitely going to dominate with the speed and that mid-range. Alright guys, that is going to be the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the player reviews, guys. I've been doing a lot of them lately. Let me know if you guys are actually liking them or not. If so, I'll keep doing them. If not, I'll switch them up. We do have some pack and play videos coming up, so that should switch things up a little bit. And we are going to be finishing up the MT Playoffs video. I will have that Flight Mike video coming up shortly. We had a couple snags with that. Sorry for the delay on that, but that video is coming as well. Um, as far as the price point on this Kevin Garnett, I would still say around the three hundred to five hundred thousand dollar range is where this card is going to be for the next few weeks, maybe even a couple months. It is a popular card, so I don't see it dropping drastically fast. But I would say probably in the low four hundreds is where I'd want to spend on this card. But again, give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, and Richie Nation, party on.